Hi guys, I'm just going to quickly go through your back office. So the first thing you're going to do is land on the Actoderm homepage. Just quickly scroll, da scroll down, sorry. <laughs> Click on Ambassador Login. Throw your email address and password in there. If you've not logged in already, your password will be password. And the first page you'll see on logging in is will be to ask you to change your password. So any other time, once you've already changed your password, this is the page that you'll land on. You've got all your important announcements to the left here. Please check those regularly. They are really important to your business. You need anything that's on there, you need to know. You've also on this front page got your sales chart for the full month. You've got your calendar. And if you scroll down, you've got a list of your recruits. If you scroll back up, we've got these tabs here. I'm going to quickly skip those for now. If we go on to calendar, this will show any parties that you've got booked in. If it's purple, it means there's been nothing put through on it. If it's red, it means it's been cancelled. And if it's been green, if it's green, then it means the order's been put through. It's all finalised. So to add a party, you just need to put all the details into here. If it's a bulk order that you place in, over a hundred pounds, you will also need to make it look like you're doing a party. But just put your details into there and put the time and date as when you want to put that order through. If you go on to resources, there's loads here. You come back and your announcements are there again. You go on to training. This is all your product training. Please, 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 when you first join, try and make your way through these videos. It's so important to know your products. And it also helps you get to grips with navigating your way around this site. So if you go on to site training, there's a few tutorials on there. The party order tutorial is here, so I would watch that as well, purely because party orders, which like I say, are orders over £100, they can be a little bit more complicated until you get the hang of it. This part is the part that I found most helpful. If these videos here are an actual pamper party broken down into the different parts. This one at the bottom is a full party. It's about an hour long, but I think I watched it about a hundred times before I actually did my first party. Going on to downloads, you've got loads of really helpful stuff here that you can have a look at. You've got like your makeup colours, which are also in the back of your catalogues, and I would recommend getting some of those if you didn't get them in your kit. You've also got more images here that you can use, and that one at the minute is empty. If you go on support, you've also got tutorials and things like that there. If you click on my details, which I would recommend to be the first thing you do when you log in, you've got all your details there. Please double and triple check that your bank details are correct. Otherwise, we get loads of people in diamonds every Friday saying, I've not been paid. And if your bank details are incorrect, then we, we've got nowhere to pay it to. This will also show if you have any Axi Cash. So if you're struggling to find your Axi Cash, that is under my details. Axi Cash you can spend on anything in our shop. You can also use it towards delivery. And um, so you get. £10 extra cash if you make more than £100 in sales between the 1st and the 9th of the month. You also get £25 if you hit diamond, which is £500 in sales. And it does go up from there, but I'm not going to go through that too much. If you click data, this is exactly how it will look before the 10th of the month. It will just be your team's names. Obviously, at the start, it will just be your name. So, after the 10th of the month, each name will have a figure next to it, and then that will show you how many sales, that, how much that person made in sales in that month, sorry. If you click into that, it allows you to look at your team, your sale, your own sales, sorry, from the last week. You can also change the dates there. So, for example, if I wanted to look at my sales for the whole of, October 
uh, click on the bottom and we're going to put the 1st of October. On the top we're going to put the 31st. So the date furthest back goes in the bottom and the closest date to you goes in the top. And just click get to from data. So that will show me my wholesales from the end of the month for the full month. If I go back down to there it shows it, a breakdown of those sales. I can also at that point click on my team sales and I can do the same for that. So that's my team sales for the past week. I can do the same there. I can click on and go for the full month or for any date that I want to look at. Just sometimes take a little bit longer just because it's got more information together. So that's my team sales for the past month. Going back to your orders section, you've got your last 100 orders that show in this sidebar here. Have a read through these because it's really important. It shows you how long your orders take, things like that. You also need to get to know your delivery charges. So you've got £4.50 for a quick order, which is anything less than £100, or a shop order as well. Or you've got £6.60 for a party order, which is anything over £100. So you can break this 100 orders down. You can make it just show shop orders, just show quick orders, and just show party orders. If you want to put an order for less than £100 through, you just click on Place Quick Order there. So we're still under the orders tab at the moment. Just add your quantities into each item they can sometimes be a bit difficult to find on this form but they are all on there um, select your delivery and click on submit and just go through that form on the very last page it will either say your order has been successful or your order has been unsuccessful if it says your order has been successful you will have another proceed button click on that otherwise your order will not go through don't just click out of it at that point same for party orders if it gives you the option to click proceed or submit make sure you do otherwise you might lose the order okay so you my shop tab if we click onto that that will actually bring you onto your site so you'll notice here it actually will say your name this is the link you need to be sending customers that are going to order through your shop. Make sure before you send that link that it works and it sends them to the right place. Okay, so I'm not really going to go through much more on that. If you've got any more questions, then either give me a message or give your upline a message. Other than that, thanks.